How's it going, everybody? Welcome back to the Blue Shitting, and welcome back to Legend of Heroes Trails in the Sky, second chapter. So, we finished the prologue. We are jumping into the main core of the story, so I have no idea what to expect, but I would be surprised if it didn't kind of follow, essentially, the pattern that we saw last time, where we start in Roland and we make, like, a circuit around and end in the capital. That's my guess, just because it feels like it would be an appropriate way to do things, and the capital feels like it's, like, the place that stuff will happen when it comes to a finale. But I, I don't know. They they easily could throw a curveball at us for that. So, yeah, let's. Uh, I'm not going to be too picky or predictive about it. I'm just excited. There's a lot of really cool, interesting threads that have been placed out. A lot of um, continuation of plots that were ha that were established in the first game, but... Are, it's also so familiar and relatable and full of so many familiar characters that, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's hard not to be 100% invested right from the get-go. The reason why we're here on the screen, by the way, is because if I load the save, like, it just jumps right into the content, so we are going to do that. But ultimately, I'm just excited to be here. Thank you so much for being a part of this, and thank you for being a part of the series as a whole, especially if you're a patron or member, but... I don't care if you're here watching it. Thank you so much. I'm just glad you're here. Let's make some good content today. So I'm going to jump right in. Let's get started. Ooh, just kicking it off right here at the tower. But it makes sense. I was going to say, like, they must be studying this like crazy because they just discovered it. They don't know exactly what was what it was used for or why. They've got to be looking for stuff. Ah, Dios. That was one heck of a trip. If it is much further, I think my legs are going to pop off. Well, you can relax now. This is the lowest floor of the sealed area. Wait, really? Ah, thank the goddess. If you told me we were only halfway down, I think I'd be flown off the meter, her, meter right about now. Really, Father Kevin? You're being a little too humble. I can tell you're extremely well trained for a... priest. If, I, if you were not, I doubt you could do the job you do. A uh, kazing read like a book, a children's book at that. Well, it's not big if, if it's not big if you figure it out. We're close to the Vaughn of the Loose family anyway. Oh, speaking of my job, that thing the mayor of Ruan had. Ah, the Cronus Rod. In accordance with our pact, it's being kept safely secured using the prescribed methods. We can hand it off to you whenever you wish. Okay, okay, so, uh, we did talk about how the Septune Church takes guard over these artifacts, these really powerful relics from the old empire. Whether it's religious or not, they definitely think that they're too powerful to just be let loose in the world, so, like, they're sent to protective. And I guess a traveling priest would make a perfect cover for an agent of the church who goes to secure dangerous such artifacts. So maybe he's actually an artifact specialist, and his job is to, like, find, um lock down and then contain artifacts preventing them from you know getting into the hands of people who could abuse them and so like that's why he travels around like he's looking for artifacts ideally probably trying to find them before they get found by others perfect perfect thanks so anyway the thing we discussed earlier mind showing it to me it's down here right yes follow me i mean if she trusts him i'm inclined to trust him she did get fooled before, but I imagine she's not going to be caught unawares. Oh, there it is. Big boss from last game. Well, now, would you look at this? I imagine even the church will have difficulty deciding what to do with this, yes? This sort of artifact isn't so much big as it is gargantuan. Hmm. You mind if I take a closer look? As you like, the Queen has given her permission. Please, if you understand any of this, share your thoughts. So this is the Ring Guardian. That was in the report, huh? It's kind of similar to the ar ar uh, archaisms that are excavated in Calvert, but... Hmm. Ah, I wish I could have seen it moving. And this. Yes, whatever this was. This thing's an artifact from the last years of the ancient Zemurian civilization, which makes it at least 1,200 years old. Yeah, so he's obviously a historian buff. Ironically, he is what I always attributed the professor to being. It's clearly the core of the structure, but there's no clear indication as to what it actually does. Analysis of artifacts seems to be impossible with modern tools. 
They work on the same principle and energy of an orbment, but their internal structure is entirely different from an orbment's. That's what Professor Russell told us, at least. The church refers to these gifts from the goddess given too early. And over here is... So, just after the black orbment you call the gospel was used, all the giant pillars that were here were set into the floor. Yes, all four pillars set into the floor like this one. Even two months later, we're not even sure what it means, if anything. Okay, so a seal on the aureole and gospel was used. And then the device here spoke the, then the device in here spoke of device towers and a second barrier. I think I was trying to see what kind of system is at work here. Uh, system? What system? There's nothing else here. Ah, well, call it a gut instinct at this point, but I think this was some sort of gate. Gate? Bingo! Call it a gate on the trail that leads to the goddess's treasure. And the thing that opens it is a black key called a gospel. If you think about it like that, the, uh, the Ariel being a wall makes a lot more sense. But where's this trail of yours then? Is it the Dolores floor? According to the professor, the ruins extend no further. Ah, think a little less literally. It's not a trail you see with your eyes as normally walk. It's a path. It could be the septium veins that run through the earth, or maybe it's some route we can't even imagine. But that's where we'll find a clue that will lead us to our aureole. So, I think the towers are now activated, or can be activated now, and if you activate all of them, it would then point the way, or even potentially open a new gate, like a portal or something. So, Sneaking Shadows, Chapter 1. Now, oh, this sounds like Roland. Oh, no, actually, I don't think Roland's uh, uh, base was this big. I don't know, we'll see. But the music's very familiar. There they go. There they are! Our heroes. Phew! Being on an airship for over half a day is kind of tiring, huh? I know how to stretch our legs, so let's go report to completion of training and to duty and duty readiness. Uh, Estelle, hello. Oh, yeah, you're right. We should go say hi to Ella, Eldan. Hey, are you? Estelle, you got a case of the nerves, don't you? I, uh, yeah, I do. I don't know why either. I didn't feel that way at all before I went to training, but now... Somehow thinking that I'm really going to be a full bracer now is making me really, really antsy. <laughs> I get it. You're trembling with excitement, I bet. Excitement, huh? You've grown way, way stronger over the past month, Estelle. And not just in, like, a whacking stuff with a stick department. You're more knowledgeable, careful, and you make better judgments. And now you're about to start hunting down the mystery creepo who wants to doom us all or whatever. You're going to bring Joshua back. I bet all that's now only now just sinking in for you. Uh... Yeah, when you put it that way, that is how I'm feeling. Uh, I'm such a dimwit. I'm like a mountain climber who didn't even bother looking up at how big the mountain before her is. Having second thoughts about climbing it? No way! If anything, I'm even more fired up than I usually used to be. No matter how big a mountain is, you can only climb it one step at a time anyway. Even if I have to crawl, I'll reach the top no matter what. <laughs> That's more like it. Okay, are we going to head over to the guild? Let's go! Up oh, straight there, and we are at the capital, so. I see, the both of you have done well. Well then, here's your reward based on your performance during training. Huh? We get paid for training? Ah, uh, not that I'll complain, but are you sure? Naturally, it's part of your job after all. Yeah, it won't be a problem so long as you put your new skills to good use for the guild. <laughs> right, uh, I'll do my best. All right, general training. So 2000 payment, Gate BP2, and uh, we're Bracer G rank. Does seem like you two had quite a fulfilling training period. You even carry yourselves differently. It was. I learned a lot. If I ever get the chance, I'd love to go again. Ha, <laughs> I'm glad to hear it. Speaking of which, Kurt and the others re remained at the training grounds, correct? 
Yeah, Karina and Grant are doing some expert level stuff, I think. They said they won't be back for a while. I think I get what Elnin is poking at, though. The guild's down three throw skilled bracers now. We're gonna be really busy from now on. And on top of that, Cassius is still devoted all his time to the military, right? Oh yeah! If I remember right, he's currently working out a Lysian Fortress. Cassius Bel uh, Brigadier General Bright has been welcomed back into the army and is now the head of the military command. He essentially is the head of Her Majesty's Royal Army at this point. What? He's the head of the army now? I thought General Morgan had that position. As I understand it, it well, that was the original idea, but Morgan himself proposed giving Cassius full reign. He seemed to be entrusting the future of the army to your father, Estelle. The future? Entrusted to Dad? Well, we're doomed then. I don't know about that, he's freaking awesome. <laughs> well, I can see Cassius being given that much responsibility, you know. That's gonna mean we're down our S rank hero too, though. I think it's safe to say we'll have plenty of support from the military from now on, however. At the same time, we have new threats to concern ourselves with. Huh? Right, you mean the society. Did they start doing stuff while we were away? No, they've done nothing, obvious. But that is admittedly how they work. What has happened are several strange occurrences over the past month. One example would be the changes in the wild beasts and monsters in various regions. The monsters have changed. Uh, do you mind defining change on that? I hope it isn't what I think it is. To start with, therefore, undocumented types of monsters are showing up all across the country. Even the existing monsters have become far more vicious and powerful. Travel has become significantly more dangerous. No one has been able to put forward an explanation as to why this is happening. So every beast out there is nastier just cuz? Oh man. It's definitely the society's doing. They're trying to turn us all into monster kibble. Actually, I'm guessing it's the activation of the tower. It might have reactivated or pumped power through natural ley lines of uh, orbment energy. Like, you know the mines, they're orbing like orbital like crystals. What if those aren't actually like mines of naturally occurring orbals, but what if those are remnants of like underground like communication networks and you know, essentially like orbital internet and they're just kind of mining them up and breaking them and using them for modern technology. But that would mean that there could be like underlying like veins or like, um, you know, like connections under running over the under the entire country, and if they all start lighting up and activating, all the monsters are going to be drawn to them. Calm yourself, Annalise. We still don't have enough evidence to be certain of anything. We do know one thing, though: things definitely began happening after the Queen's birthday celebrations. That we know for certain. The first reports came in practically the day after. Ah, crap! Don't look so glum. We've actually been formulating a response of sorts. And I'd very much like for the two of you to be a part of it. A response! Ah, you two are here already. I wanted to meet, I wanted to meet you at the port. Is that gonna be... Oh. Hey! Sarah! And Agat too? This is a, a surprise! Welcome back, you two. It's good to see you. Heh. <laughs> you two got back sooner than I thought. I'm really happy to see you two, Sarah. And I got... Hi. It's been a while, huh? Yeah, I think last time we saw each other was during the Queen's birthday sh shindig. The old man told me about Joshua, you know. I heard you two were pretty broke up over it, but you seem to be back to your feet already, yeah? <laughs> yeah, mostly. More to the point, though. Why are you two together? Good question. I should get a camera. This is like seeing a king penguin. Don't remind me of those demons. <laughs> if you don't recall... I walked into the den of the king penguins way too early, and I think I had I was, a, I, was a, I was like a, a party member down, and it was a nightmare. Oh really? It isn't that rare, you two. Gotta admit, we don't work together that often, Sherazad. Well, I got that's probably because you don't tend to work with anybody, if I recall. Actually, Sherazad and I got are here to begin a special mission. I asked them to come here today for a specific reason. A mission! Indeed, they will be tasked with investigating the Society of Ouroboros. What? Wait, like chasing down their agents and stuff? Isn't that dangerous? I wish it were that exciting. Investigating may be a little too specific, though. We're barely even certain the Society exists at this point. You realize, despite what Cassius is saying. 
We're gonna be wandering all across Liberal, keeping an eye out for anything resembling a secret society bent on world domination. <laughs> this is probably gonna be the most exciting job ever, if that is the point. Oh, I get it. I guess groping around in the dark is the best we can do right now, huh? So, I'm guessing you want us to tag along? Yes, I'd like to assign you two to assist Shahrazad and Agat. The plan is to have Shahara and Agat investigate different areas separately. I would like for them to have a partner, though, just in case the society really is as dangerous as we think it is. Okay, one of us helps one of us helps Shara, and the other helps Agat. Exactly. Are you willing to assist? You bet we are. I was gonna look. I was look going. I. Bleh. I was going to looking for the society of my own anyway, so this is perfect. I want to help too. There's no way I can sit around when there's suspicious stuff going on. Thank you. I'm glad we have the help. Well then, one remaining hurdle would be team formation. I'll be fine with either of you, really. We all know, we all know each other, basically. You two figure out how, to, how it'll work out best. Hmm, of course you have to push the decision onto us. What do you think, Annalise? How should we do this? Hmm, well, this might be kind of irresponsible of me. But I think it might be best if you decide, Estelle. What? You've been the full bracer for a little while, right? You probably haven't found your style as a bracer yet. So how about using this as a chance to see what kind of bracer you want to be? Annalise. Well, well, look at you, Annalise. When did you learn to talk like a professional? <laughs> Leave it to me. Either way, girl's got a point. Shara and I are the same rank, but the way we fight are very way different. I barely use any art except for support once in a while. Focus more on cutting things down with my sword. And I emphasize speed, the range of my whip, and horrible arts. You can't really go wrong with either of us, I think. Keep in mind that being a bracer involves much more than just fighting, though. Think hard and choose the partner you think matches you best. Hmm. Well, then I'll... I'll fetch! Oh, no. Okay. Is it saying matches you best? As in... The compliment to the style that you plan to play, or as the opposite, because I kind of played. Uh, this sucks actually, because I played Estelle kind of middling road. I used her for crowd control and physical attacks, because Hurricane Anna gave her air, so she was really good about like doing large area of effect attacks. But then she could be a focus damage dealer when necessary. So I kind of played her middle of the road, like a mix of both. Uh, the other thing I'm thinking of too is that now because I relied on Joshua being my main like physical hitter like he was my main damage dealer in my tank <sighs> But I don't have one now Knowing I'm gonna be traveling with Estelle a lot and knowing how much I really relied on Joshua It might be better to focus Estelle in the direction of being a physical attacker and having support magic so in a style similar to Agat. But I did really enjoy, I love arts. Like using arts is really important, special. And because she's gonna be my main character, I'm going to be putting a lot more of my resources into making sure she has top-notch orb orbs at all times, which would also incline making her really powerful as a main like arts damage dealer. And then the other argument you can make is that we saw at the end of the last game how over-dependence on arts can easily bite you in the butt because they have direct countermeasures for end-game fights against arts users. Yeah, oh, fetch me. I imagine I can still just adjust and play as I want, as I go. It's not like it's a hard, hard choice, but like, if I pick a good direction to move now, and focus on it, I'll likely be able to build towards a, in a better direction in the long run. Okay, so I don't know if this is right or wrong. I imagine there's no true right or wrong, but I'm sure there's an optimal choice. But here's what I'm gonna do. As much as I prefer Cher over Aga, I'm not going to look at their personalities when choosing. I'm going to focus my choice based on customization and optimization. Shara is the clear choice if I decide to go on a very physical build, a physical striking build. Aga is the clear choice if I want to go for more of a, like, orbment magic type build. So here's what I'm thinking. Whilst, um, I do think Estelle is great, can excel at both, I'm gonna go with my gut 
and a premise that I'm gonna build off of kind of what I was using uh, her for in the first game. Which is, while she's a fantastic physical fighter, I really think that she was shining focused on her arts. Because, whilst I'll be missing a physical attacker, like, Agat could obviously fill that role, but like, I'll be, I could be missing a physical attacker. Estelle's never been super great at being a solid, like, smasher. Uh, kind of like a head-on attacker. Like, her crafts aren't really built for being like a, like a, like a, like a boss killer type of build. Um, she can do area of control, and she does have one of the best single target, um, like, S, uh, S-crafts. But almost everything else she has is, is focused more on buffing. Uh, she has a bit of a taunt, if I recall correctly. But it was like one of the weaker taunts that we'd ever seen. And... Consistently, I used her for her arts. I don't know. Like I'm, I'm really wishy-washy, and it's tough for me to make a decision if you can't tell. But if push comes to shove, I think the backbone I'm gonna go for again is this idea that I really saw a lot of success in using her as a mainly an arts battery. She was very effective with her arts. In fact, I felt like she was really strong with her arts. And I used Joshua as a beat stick because he tended to be a lot more effective in that regard. Where Estelle was fine, but she just wasn't shining as much. And I think that Estelle would be... It's like, it's so funny though, because at the same time, like if I, if I were to go based on Estelle's personality, I felt like she would love to master the physical stuff, like over arts. In the, every, in the, in the, the fight scenes between the two, they were always focusing on arts and using crafts. Um, not, not arts, but using crafts. Um, and she always, like, has been a big, big physical, like, like, I'm gonna punch you down type of person. So maybe I should just really go in on the tankiness. Oh, gosh, I don't know! Oh, I'm driving myself crazy. Okay, I made my choice. As much as it fits her personality, she is very good at using her staff. I do think that she's a better uh, caster. I mean, think about this. She has literally unrestricted orb slots. Everyone else usually has to be like slotted with specific ones. Estelle is the only one that we've seen that is completely bare. She can use all of them, which means that I can have a ton of flexibility if I focus on her being an arts caster. And again, her even her craft kit tends to be more about buffing and setting stages rather than direct attacking. The reason why... Um, Joshua Joshua was a better attacker was because his crafts were really good about being targeted like one like damage just flat-out damage Estelle can do that but she just never was as good whereas she was really important for a lot of builds about clearing rooms especially using like wind and other things so I'm gonna go with um you know an arts focus on her and that means I'm gonna travel with Agat <laughs> all right then just keep in mind you're a full bracer now I ain't gonna go easy on you Hope you're ready. Yeah, I know. I kind of thought you might say something macho like that. What? <sighs> Come on now, starting off with an argument is probably not the best way to begin a trip. Anyway, that makes Annalise might mean the other team. I'm looking forward to seeing how your training turned out. Heck yeah! <laughs> it feels like forever since we worked together, Shara. So, that out of the way. Next step is figuring out how we're going to wander the country looking for shadows. Any thoughts, Elnan? Hmm, possibly. I'd suggest beginning by going to help the regions with the busiest branches. In fact, just received pleas for aid from Ruan and Neroland branches today, rather desperate sounding ones at that. That sounds just lovely. I suppose it's been a w I've been away from Roland for too long. I'd best go help Anya. Yeah, I think that's for the best. It's been a while since I've seen Anya too, this'll be fun. We'll head to Ruan then. Aw, oh, that kinda stinks we can't go to Roland. You're cool with that, right, Estelle? Of course. Man, I wonder how everyone in Ruan's doing. I'll contact the branches ahead of your arrival. Be careful, everyone. Alright, here we go. Okay, we'll get a bit of an early start then. Estelle, you've just gotten back too. I'm sorry we couldn't spend more time together. Me too. It sounds like An- An- uh, An- Yan Roland really needs some help too, though. Be sure to say hi to everyone for me. You've got it. Estelle, I'm sure you're fine, but don't fray yourself to, to loose ends, all right? Sarah! My tarot card says the bond between you and Joshua has not been severed. Yet. 
So, don't worry. Believe in your connection to him. Follow it and your trail will be clear, I know it. Yeah. Thanks, Shara. I feel a lot braver now. I... Come on now, don't make that face. You're a full bracer, remember? Be proud of yourself. Right, I am. <laughs> so, Estelle, guess this is goodbye for now, then. Annalise, thanks for going with me on my training. Sarah asked you to come along with me, right? Uh, uh I've been found out like a pie thief in the night. Sarah said having someone who didn't know Joshua too well around would help you sort your feelings. So, yeah, she asked me. <laughs> I thought so. What the? Don't tell her everything. Hey, what's wrong with being up front at this point, right? But the real truth is, it wasn't just that. I did want to train myself, too. And I really do think you learned a lot by training with you, Estelle. So I've got to say it, too. Thank you. Annalise. And, and, uh... Okay, deep breaths. I know you might think I'm weird for saying this, but... Huh? I, uh, I like to think we're already friends, but, well... I'd like it for you and V Estelle if we begin something... More. Whoa, 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 wait, what, 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 wait. What? R it, it, what? <laughs> dot, dot, dot. Are you for real? What? What? Are you saying what I think you're saying? No, don't try to stop me, Sarah. I'm serious. I'm absolutely sure about this. Serious? Oh, oh my. Really, right here in public. You've got to be freaking kidding me. I, well, I know I'm a couple years older than you, Estelle, but we're totally spent about the same amount of time in the guild. And you know what? Age doesn't matter when it comes to something like this. So, what do you think? Uh, uh, well, um, I mean, uh, I'm really happy. I think my heart's racing out of my chest, but this is kind of a surprise to say the least. Besides, there's a... Joshua, and there's some kind of issues on a couple fronts, or, or, or more than a couple, I, so I don't, uh... Joshua? What does he have to do with this? And what problem would there be on a couple fronts if we became rivals? Oh! <laughs> she went full Pokemon on us. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> that was the best. And Estelle's reaction was amazing! It's, a, it's like, she, Estelle, like, she has her heart, like, clearly set on Joshua, but the fact that she was like, would that work? She was like, I could, she was like, she was like, I've never thought of that. What if that could actually be a thing? Estelle's pretty based. <laughs> Rivals? Yeah, yeah, we're about the same age and equal in skill level. I thought it'd help us both try to reach even higher, but you don't actually like the idea, do you? <laughs> That's what you meant. Okay. As unpredictable as always, I see. Not quite the punchline I was expecting. Punchline? <laughs> well, if that's what you mean. All right, then. I, Estelle Bright, hereby recognize you as my rival, Annalise Elfried. Consider the gauntlet thrown in your face, even. Sweet. All right, step one. I race to see which of us can reach out and share his level first. Bring it, sword brain. I'll leave you eating my, my bracer points dust. Oh boy. I do believe we're in some amount of peril, my good m Mr. Kronzer. Krosner? Heh, <laughs> seriously. Nothing scarier than a couple kids charging straight ahead. This is the final boarding call for the Cecilia, born for Roland. All passengers, please embark immediately. That's us, I'm afraid. That might have been the greatest. The greatest interaction we've ever had in the game. <laughs> well then, you two, stay safe. We'll count, uh, count. We'll contact you through the guild should we find anything. Keep in touch with us as you as well. Will do. See you, Annalise. Shara, stay safe. Yeah. Good luck, Estelle. Oh my gosh, that was amazing. <laughs> I still say, the best part was that Estelle was, like, kind of open to the idea. Gosh darn it. Oh, part of me's all wondering about that ship. That actually doesn't sound too bad. They're both, they're pretty fun together. I don't think I could ever see J Joshua getting trumped, but, whew. That's a contender right there, if I ever saw one. Okay, then. 
So we finish our check-in and wait for the next real unbound flight? Yeah, ship bound for Ron ought to get here soon enough. Sure you don't want to do some shopping or something, though? Been a month. Hmm, I wouldn't mind hitting the department store, but... Are you sure you wouldn't mind that gap? Ah, I'm easy, really. Guys just charge into things without any planning, you see. Girls are the ones who actually bother preparing and whatnot. I said choose what you think is important. <laughs> okay. Hmm, now to be honest, I can get what I need in Ruan. Let's just get our tickets. Works for me. Tickets should be sold to the lobby of the airship company building. Let's go. Now, can I go talk to people? Because part of me wants to go and see if we can check in on anybody. But, oh my gosh, that was, that was just great. Everything about that was amazing. You take care while I'm away. I'm gonna see you later. I remember those two vaguely. Grandpa, I want to ride the airship over there. That's the Queen's airship, sweetie. I mean, I kind of want to ride it too. Airship rivals departures. No, 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 no. Okay. This is my first time riding an airship alone. What? I'm not nervous. No, not me. So can I leave or will it tell me not to? Nope, I'm good. Let's go. Okay, yeah. So, nope. Can't go say hi to people. Alright. Hmm. Familiar faces? Kind of? Huh? What? Really? This is why I cannot stand pompous imperial nobility. And I thought there were limits to how unpleasant a single person could be. Huh. <sighs> took the word right out of my mouth. Tell me, why does the Republic even care about engine provision deal? I do not think liberals' internal politics were your plaything. It's a matter of national, no, international security, of course. It's only been a decade since the Erbonia attempted to annex this innocent little country. It is absolutely unacceptable for a half-barbaric nation like yours to lay their hands on such cutting-edge technology. The Republic is a long-standing friend of liberal. We won't stand back and allow something like that will happen that will threaten its interests. Long-standing friend. Some friends you are. You don't send them so much as a soldier in the war. You're just pretending to be allies what suits you while standing back and doing nothing when it doesn't. What did you just... My lord, Ambassador Cranog. I suggest we leave the matter here. Oh, Major Vander! He was, like, the kind of custodian for our dear Oliver, right? We do not wish to bother the other customers. But Mueller, we... Ambassador Crocran, may I ask that you back down as well? This is a debate that could be handled just as well through the embassies. Very well. I can't say I like hearing that from a member of the Imperial military. Still, far better than hearing it from that pompous and gluttonous member of nobility, I suppose. What did you just- Well, gentlemen, if you'll pardon me. Interesting. So... Liberal might be the more nice of the nations. That insufferable she-wolf. This is why commoners with no history or tradition are... My lord. Hm. <laughs> yes, yes. I shall return to the embassy. I trust I can leave the other matter in your hands. As you wish, my lord. Ah, uh, hiya! Hmm. Ah. Estelle, yes? It's been some time since the martial arts competition, I believe. <laughs> Glad you remember. That was one heck of an argument just now, though. Who were those two, and why were they glaring at each other like a cat and dog? The man was the ambassador of the Erebonian Emperor Empire to Liberal, Lord Davil Car uh, Cargate, Cargana, or Car Caragna. The woman would be the ambassador from the Republic of Calvard, Elsa Cochran. Cochrane. They have- they head up their respective embassies here in the capital. Oh, I see. Awful damn childish for a couple of ambassadors. Can those two really do their jobs? I get. I wish I could disagree, honestly. To say the Empire and the Republic have always been on bad terms would be an understatement at the best of times. And on top of that, those two are like oil and water on a personal level. Well, not the... No, the fact that they break into arguments every time they meet shows how similar they are in some ways. <laughs> I guess I could see that. Though, well, maybe because I walked into the middle of the conversation, but I couldn't understand, like, half of that. Something about engine provision and liberal internal politics? Eh, sorry, guess I shouldn't ask. 
No, I don't mind. It's not really a secret, anyway. The engine in question is actually the latest from your own central factory. One of the designs is finalized. Simply put, simple units are to be provided for your airship company to the Empire and Republic both, but... We, uh, bumped into Ambassador Cochran and came by to finalize the details of the deal. Oh, I get it. Why big argument about an engine, then? An Orbalus engine is what determines what the ship can really do. Since you can install them in military ships, you usually don't just hand them out like candy. Now I get it. It'd be a real mess if that engine let the Imperial Army get all powered up. Uh, well, I mean... Not at all, it's true. Normally, sharing such advanced technology with other countries so freely would be unthinkable, but this is part of your Queen's plan. Rather than monopolizing a technological edge, she wishes to provide it to other countries to promote mutual multinational peace. It's actually not a bad idea. Because, like, while it can be dangerous, it also could be profitable. Because if everyone's on even playing fields, it kind of keeps the status quo. But, um, it kind of de it develops a dependence on, uh, the continued, like, advanced, uh, technologies of Liberal. Which could mean that they continue their kind of monopoly on the business for a while. At least that's her plan, as I understand it. I get it. She did mention something like that a while ago, now I think about it. It's pretty incredible that the Queen's willing to try something like that. Like, it's not just an ideal, you know? It's something that could really change how people negotiate. Yes, you have reason to be proud of your Queen, I'd say. My apologies, but this conversation has gone on longer than I'd intended. You're here for air tickets, yes? I'll pardon myself here. Oh, yeah. Say, Mueller, about Oliver. Has he gone back to Erebunny already? What? You've not heard. I haven't had a chance to see him since the Queen's birthday celebrations, actually. I feel kind of bad about that. Oh, don't worry. That half-wit's continuing a while away his days here in Liberal. He said he was going to visit Elmo Springs, if I remember right. Okay, then. <laughs> yeah, that sounds like Oliver, all right. So, uh, the Elmo Springs, south of, um... Oh, crap. It's the... It's the... That's the city with the machinery. Uh, Zeiss? I think it was Zeiss. Should he ever bother returning to the embassy like a responsible citizen? Unlikely as it is, I'll let him know you were asking after him. I'll make sure he's at least contacts you before he returns to the Empire. Thanks, Mueller. Hardly. I should thank you for keeping that lunatic company. Now, if you'll excuse me. That's one hell of a stiff military type for a friend of the golden hair guy. Who is he? Mule is a residential military officer for the Aerobody Embassy, I think. I believe I met him a few times myself. Hmm. Well, yeah, well built. He sure made sure not to leave himself open to any point in our chat. A well-trained dog of the military and hiding some sharp fangs to boot. There you go again. He does seem like he's really strong, though. <laughs> I don't trust any Imperials, and that includes Blondie. Seems like he talked to, talked to Cassius about something. But who knows what his plan is and why he's staying so long. I guess that's a good point. Although, Oliver may be weird, but I can't think of him as a bad guy. Even Mueller doesn't seem all that malevolent, I guess? <laughs> yeah, whatever. Let's get over to the counter and get our tickets. Alright, anyone to cool talk to here? That was scary, now I can buy my ticket. Again, they're all just like, what the heck was that about? Oh man, screaming and fighting at a place like this? How pathetic. I wish people could be more well-mannered. Those two just now. They really looked deadly serious. Seems like they have fairly high rank, too. wonder who they were. Alright. Welcome. Will you be using our national flights or our international flights? Uh, two tickets bound for Ruan, please. Understood. Oh, pardon me. Are you with the Bracers Guild, yes? Are you Estelle and Agat? Uh, yes! I've already received payment from Elnen with the, with the Capital Branch. Here are your tickets. Received boarding passes. I see! So Elnen did. Nice, Elnen. He's always ahead. Well then, please hand your tickets to the receptionist immediately outside the building. You can check in your finger for your flight there. Sweet! Nice and quick. Hello and welcome. Will you be flying with us today? If you are, you'll need to check you in and present your tickets. Why don't you check in? We should stick around and wait for the ship. Sure you got everything you need? Stuff to do. Let's see. So can I leave now? Like, that's kind of what I'm wondering. Or like, like, is there more to do around here? Like, why is it giving me the option? Unless it's just like standard procedure. I'm gonna try and leave again. See if I can. 
Nope. You know this game. You can always miss something if you just... You blink for a second, it's gone. Alright, well, doesn't look like there's anything else to do. So let's go ahead. Okay, yep. Um, let's go. Very well. Please sign these papers then. Ah, oh, sure. Scratch, scratch. Let's tell our companion finish checking in. Thank you. Everything is in order. Please wait in the harbor area for the next airship arrival. Okay. Right then. Let's find a good bench and wait for the next ship. There it goes. Good old Linda. Here we go. It really sounds like a jet taking off. The music. Ah, what a nice day. The terrorists gotta be flooding the streets and ruin the weather like this. Maybe. They got bigger things heating the place up than tourism, though. Tourism, what do you mean? The election for the new mayor. Apparently, there's two popular candidates to replace Dalmore. So it's like an actual fight of an election. Neat. Yeah, because remember, it used to be effectively a hereditary position. It was kept in the same family. So they were technically elected, but they were always like the same family members until good old Dalmore went back crap crazy, probably because he got mind tricked or whatever, but still. And now, so they're doing a normal election. And thinking about it, I guess it's about time, huh? They can't just let the mayor's office sit empty. Yeah, whole thing's been a bit of a mess ever since you guys blew that case wide open. I heard about what you guys did from Jean. Uh, <laughs> yeah, after you left, me and Joshua and Clo Chloe worked on that. We, uh, we had some help from a reporter, too. And the actual arrest was done by Lieutenant Schwartz of the Royal Guard. <laughs> Even better. You're smart enough to see it wasn't all just you. By Chloe, though. You mean the girl in the uniform, right? A.K.A. Princess Claudia? Man, that blew my frickin' mind when I heard that in the castle. <laughs> yeah, I know what you mean. Yeah, I know what you mean, too! Apparently everyone else saw it, but me and Estelle, we were just riding that boat together where we were like, Wait a minute. <laughs> you know, I haven't seen Chloe since that birthday cell festival. Or Oliver, I guess, for the better or worse. And not just them. Tita, too. And Zinn. I told Tita at her I told Tita her old foggy about what was up with you. I figured they'd worry too much if they were kept in the dark. Oh, thanks, I got. Yeah, well, you better send him a letter soon or meet him in person or whatever. They miss you. Oh, and Zinn went back to Calvert after the festival. He said to give you his best. I see. I wish we could have said goodbye. As for the princess, pretty sure she went back to Jenna's Royal Academy. We'll be in Rouen for a while, so I think we can find some time to drop in and say hi at least. Yes! Yeah, you're right. <laughs> what? Did I say something funny? Oh, no, not really. I was just thinking, you're a lot more thoughtful than you look, Agat. You even offered to let me do some shopping before you left the capital. Thoughtful? I'm not. I mean, I was. I. I. Ah, oh, forget it. <sighs> Whatever. I'm gonna take a nap in my seat till we arrive. Don't get all absorbed and wandering around that you forget to get off and ruin. How Sundere. He is the Sundere of this game, and that's amazing. Okay, yeah, you really do try too hard sometimes. Anyway, I think I'll take his advice. Time for a bit of looking around before you arrive. Alright, let's go talk to some people. Hey, don't get too close to the edge. What'll happen if you fall, huh? Wow, this is so cool. Hey, look, the tree is so tiny. By the way, I should check. Like, um... Should I make sure I've got orbs all equipped and everything and make sure I've got good ones? I worry she took all the orbs I had equipped to her. That's unfortunate. <laughs> oh, no, 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 wait, wait, we got a couple. Okay, okay. So I do want the healing. EP cut's good. Yeah, hmm. Maybe not. Maybe it's just, uh... Nah, that might be for the best, anyway. Okay. Ugh, such a pity. 
Thanks to the clouds, you can't even tell the Saffron Tower from here. I have a feeling we're gonna have to see all those towers. I'm, act I'm gonna probably go to a tower the instant I can, because I am guaranteeing you something's going on there. I'm a researcher with the History Museum. You know the towers, right? I'm here to inspect those. After Her Majesty's birthday celebrations, there were sightings of odd phenomena around the uh, tet uh, Tetracycle Towers. A little late, but better investigate now than never, right? Yeah. How much you want to bet we're going to be following you around like we were following the crazy professor? Alright, okay. We're on in the middle of an election right now. The candidates, I believe, are the harbor manager and the owner of a local hotel. Right. Like, working class versus, uh, like, upper class. In fact, I remember talking to both of them. I wonder which will win. When I was young, the only way to get around was a long, hard trip on the roads. We really have it easy these days. And it's all thanks to Her Majesty. Come to think of it, the group of bandits hasn't been caught. No, they wouldn't attack us, would they? I mean, it's the same ship. I would be a little concerned. Like, even if it's not logical. Oh, really, Grandpa? It's such a worry, Bart. I don't know what I'd do with him. There were So there were bandits, but according to the news, they don't even have a ship anymore. What are they going to do? Flap their arms real hard and run us down with their wishes? I finished my duties at Grantsville Cathedral and I'm on my way to Bowes. I must confess, though, all the time I've been getting away, I've been so worried I thought I'd go crazy. The ship isn't even going the right way, but I jumped on without thinking about it. Oh, the Sunday school ends safely at least. Oh dear, oh dear. Oh, sister. <clears throat> to the right, you can see the Valeria Lake. Regrettably, the cloudy at the moment, but you should be able to see the outline of the lake. Huh? Uh, excuse me. Are you from the Braces Guild, miss? Crewmem Clara. Yeah, I am, yeah. I thought so. I'm glad we could meet again. Do you remember me? I was one of the people you saved when the Sky Bandits held us hostage. Oh my gosh. She's she, she's still working on the same ship. Oh, you were the captain, right? That's right. I'm Claire. I managed the passenger cabin. Our entire crew owe you our lives and more. We're still here at our post because you managed to save us. <laughs> You're welcome. Get the entire crew of the Lindell back at work. Yes, everyone is working even harder than before. That's great. I'm glad everyone's able to get back to their lives. Forgive me for asking, Miss Bracer, but are you traveling for pleasure today, or work? <laughs> Unfortunately, it's always work. I'll probably be ending up riding airships a lot from now on. I hope you'll treat me well if I end up on the Linda again. Absolutely. I hope we get to serve you again. I'm getting this now sense of foreboding. We're on the same ship that got shot down last time with the same crew. And last time a Bright was on here, this ship, something bad happened. <laughs> Huh, sometimes, he shouts, sometimes my foot. You've only just managed to, fi to find a job. I hear the Casino Ruins finally finished its renovations. Left Grantsville as soon as I heard. Ooh, I forgot about that. Sometimes you just need to kick back and chill out, you know? Maybe take a page out of RT Games book and go gamble away my funds. Hmm, hmm. This guy. Oh, no way. Absolutely must make this next deal happen. Oh my gosh, is this the guy that wanted us to get all the food stuff randomly? I should look over the local food stuffs again. It is! It is a good idea. Should have returned my roots and do some plain old investigating. Get anything from this, I'll need to make a list and investigate with my careful plan. Yeah. We're gonna be getting missions from him again. Which, honestly, bring it on. I might be better at this time. Whew, man, just what I thought we'd get the rest of Bose for a bit. Straight on for off for Zeiss. If a non-aggression pact of the Empire happens, our trade in ordnance is going to explode, after all. The plan to get the Zeiss now and secure some product in advance. Do you have some business on the... Wait a moment, you're the girl from before. Hi, sir. I haven't seen you in a while. I saved the ba you at the bandit had out, right? Yes, I thought so. You must forgive me. I've never had a chance to properly thank you. Allow me to offer you my thanks on behalf of the entire crew. <laughs> You're welcome. You really was just doing my job, though. Still, it's kind of funny, and though. Taking a trip on the same airship I once helped to rescue. Repairing the damage those thugs did took some time, but the Linda's good as new now. I'm sure she's doing her best with you on board. Ah! Huh, looks like she heard us talking. 
With conditions like today's, we should arrive at Ruan in no time. Please enjoy the rest of your journey. Let us know if you need anything. I will. Thanks, sir. Maintain altitude. Keep throttle at 60%. Maintaining heading until we reach the Ru uh, Roba uh, Bana Robanai River. Attitude okay. Say throttle at 60. Maintaining current heading until we cross the Robanai River. Communication is really important, which is why they repeat instructions back to make sure that there's no like misunderstanding. It's tedious, but it's really important, especially it's a good habit to be in because when it's a crisis and it's like loud and there's alarms going off, you need to make sure that you're like communicating really clearly. Man, it's so weird being on these ships again. This is the cargo room. Ain't no place for passengers. What's it? Don't hit your head wandering around. Wait, Duncan, wasn't he the one that smuggled us on the airship? I think he was the one who helped us smuggle aboard uh, to get into the Lestian Fortress. Oh, I haven't been up here yet. Okay. Incredible. That will never ceases to amaze me. Back home in Calvert, airships are still very rare. It was kind of a shock when I found out normal citizens use them so casually like this. This is my second time riding a passenger liner. First time I rode one, we got attacked by bandits. Please let nothing happen this time, almighty adios. Oh no, now the doom flags really are waving now. It's the same ship with the same crew, and we even have a former passenger also on board, and it's literally the the, the, the next time he's riding on an airship. Next is Ruan, huh? Speaking of Ruan, the whole thing with the mayor Dalmore being arrested was a real shocker. Seems like the whole town's still in an uproar over it, but that's not too surprising. Hmm, Valeria Lake. Lloyd! Somewhere in that wide open lake is a legendary guardian of Valeria's waters lives. Oh, right! The Fisher guy! Someone hasn't changed a bit. Hmm? Oh, I was wondering who it was. Hello, Estelle. Hi, Lloyd. I haven't seen you in forever. Looking to challenge the, look, challenge the Lord King uh, Mugwump Fish of Valeria Lake again? Oh, now? No. I'm off to Ruan. I've heard there's a nice, convenient spot right in the city limits. Wow, you sure are dedicated. Sounds like fun, but I guess it's not. I'm, I'm just not into fishing. Oh, really? That's a pity. You've got quite a talent for it, from what I saw at the Kingfisher Inn. I know. Let me give you this. Huh? Fishing book. Progress rod. <gasps> this is, uh. Have we just been inducted into the fishing cult? It's a rod for beginners and a notebook for recording your fishing records. We, the members of the Fisherman's Guild, are dedicated to expansion of the culture of fishing. Eh, we've just been inducted into the cult. We're always happy to provide promising rookies with the tools of the trade. Incidentally, are you bound for Ruan? Yeah, I, I, I am, actually. Well, then, you'll have a chance to swing that rod right away. There are all sorts of fishing spots in Ruan. Huh, I guess it would be a ch good chance. Now that you mention it, Ruan's a region is kind of full of waterside areas. As I mentioned, there's a point within the city itself, too. You should go there first to practice. For now, so long as you enjoy it, that's enough. Yeah, thanks. I'll definitely give it a shot. I pray you'll join the ring someday. Well then, safe journey to you. Now, while I'm not interested in joining a cult, I did enjoy the mini game, and I think it'd be very fun to have Estelle do a fishing monologue. So, yeah, let's take a look at that book. It was a fishing book. Okay, so it's literally like the monster book, but for fish. So we gotta try and f find all the fish. I wonder if you get any cool, like, like events are triggered because of that. He's literally sleeping. He's already completely passed out. I've literally talked to everyone. I've been everywhere on the ship. I got my fishing pole. Oh. Thank you for flying with us today. We will be arriving at Ruan shortly. Please be aware there may be turbulence while landing, so we ask all passengers to take their seats. Whoops! Better get to my seat. Okay. Hey, we landed. I literally was thinking we were about to be just shot out of the sky. I do think Ruan's one of the prettiest places. Oh, hey, welcome back. Boy, am I glad to see you guys here. Karna's been away. The board's been covered with jobs. You guys have your work cut out for you. Gear up and ready to go, I hope. 
sending us out our Getty. We were expecting a little board, board work, but anything urgent come up lately? Well, no, we're snowed under with work in general, but none of it's particularly urgent. I mean, the election's being held under the eyes of the military anyway. Town's so busy boiling over for an election that the tourists have stayed away a bit. Whoa, the election's gotten that hot? Who's running? We haven't heard. Mr. Norman, who's a proponent of the tourism industry, and Mr. Por uh, Portos, who wants to try and revive the harbor and shipping business. Remember, this is a big deal. The mayor of Ruan is also governor of the entire region. People in Maronia and elsewhere are voting, too. It's been a real media crew circus. This election is basically going to decide the future of Ruan. It's exciting. If it's a media circus, then we know our favorite reporter is going to be in town. I get it now. This is big. Well, given I'm underage and not a citizen of Ruan, I guess I can't vote. Gotta admit, though, since I, uh, basically helped cause this, I'm sort of curious to see where it goes. Oh, then read the coverage from Liberal News. Their investigative articles are excellent. Investigation. Wait, that reminds me. There's actually a job I'd like you to focus on if it isn't, it isn't urgent, but it's something that needs looking into. Oh, what's up? Well, uh, how do I put this? It's hard to explain. Maybe I shouldn't have. The heck? Ain't she just beating around the bush, Jean? Since when do you hesitate to pile the work on? Come on, spit it out! <laughs> well, again, for the honesty, I think. Oh, uh, all right, here it is. I want you to investigate ghost sightings. That is weird. See, I knew you were gonna look at me like that. This is why I didn't want to bring it up. No, sorry, just a bit of a surprise, that's all. So, uh, what exactly do you mean by ghost sightings? Okay, so it began about two weeks ago. We've been receiving reports that people have been seeing a white shadow at night. Not just in the city of Ruan, mind you. Reports have come in from all across the province. They say a white, sh white shadow at night. Wait, you mean? Ah, that's why you said a ghost. And it probably isn't a prank or a trick to the eyes that people are seeing this thing all over. Exactly. I've dismissed one sighting, maybe with all these reports we've got going. Uh, while you're traveling around working on other jobs, do you think you could follow up on a few other reports? Uh, well, y you see, uh, it'd be irresponsible of us to take on such a job with such so much else going on. Y yeah, that's it. Estelle, are you? <laughs> what? No, 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 not at all. You think Estelle, the coop, coop breaker, hero of Liberal, would be afraid of ghosts? No way, no how, no. Sorry, I am afraid of ghosts a little. <laughs> More than a little from the look of it. Well, don't worry. Nobody's been hurt or anything. It isn't urgent. We'll just pretend this conversation didn't. Nope, we'll take it. Don't forget, big part of our mission is to investigate the, investigate the society. We're here to keep an eye out for even the slightest hint of activity from them. That's the plan, remember? Oh. Everyone has, everyone has things they have trouble handling. Everyone. So don't be afraid to admit you're scared of something. But admit it and do something about it instead of just running away from it. Ouch. A little harsh, don't you think I got? No, I got totally right. I'm afraid of ghosts, but... No ghost could match the terror I felt the day Joshua disappeared. Estelle. Heh, <laughs> now you get it. Gee, we'll investigate those sightings and get to the bottom of them. I promise. Glad to hear it. Anyway, I've got three sightings in particular that I think bear looking into. The first one's report from the guard at Aerolettan. Apparently, he saw something during the night patrol that spooked the heck out of him. Okay, not scared, not scared. The second one I know was a sighting of a member of the Ravens. Figure that one should be easy since I got with you. <laughs> if he doesn't talk, I'll remind the guy who the real boss is. I'll cut it out with the macho stuff. He seemed kind of different during the tournament in Grantsville, you know? Yeah, I kind of doubt it. Well, uh, do be try to be subtle about it, yes? The last report was from one of the children of the Mercia Orphanage. <gasps> Wait, one of the orphan kids? Yes, Mother Teresa contacted us on her behalf. Oh, right. Guess you wouldn't know. Reconstruction of the orphanage finished not too long ago. Yes! Ruan! I'm very happy to be back. According to Matron Teresa, there's more or less as the once was. Is it? That's a relief. I wanted to go say hi to Matron Teresa as the kids anyway. I'll ask about the uh, thingy sighting while we go congratulate them over the new orphanage building. And that's it. Remember, though, that isn't really urgent, so you can put it off a bit if something else comes up. The rest of the jobs are on the board, so make sure to check it. Oh, you bet I will.
Brace this quest, which you may choose to accept or ignore, or post it on the board in each guild house. If you approach the board and press the confirm prompt, when the mark, when the exclamation mark appears, you can see the full list. Select a job that details as such the objective and potential rewards. These details will automatically be recorded in your notebook. Once you've heard what all three witnesses have say, come back here. We can go over the testimonies and stab at fing and take a stab at figuring this mess out. Understood. The ravens are hanging right out in the city in the warehouse district. You might check out them first. Right, and the warehouse district across the bridge by the harbor. Let's move out. All right, let's go. Get the board. All right, common ingredient hunters, of course. Looking for someone to help me complete a list of ingredients. Uh, come to Merit Village, reserved for our firm, wait on second floor, invite Mongolia. Saffron Tower photo. Ooh. And it's a medium one. The History Museum. Job to take a photograph of the Saffron Tower. Necessary equipment will be provided. Details for the job will be provided by the research staff member. He's staying at the Hotel Blanc, room 101. Vestia Forest Road Monster. Dangerous Monster, Mercury Viper. He's been on the Vestia Forest Road. Braces failure to branch, has to attack the threat. Monster specializes in poison attacks. Respond to monster equipped with anti-venom gear. Good thinking. Gull Seaside Way Monster. Dangerous monster, Cobalt Saber. He's been sighted on the Gull Seaside. Braces is affiliated with the branch are asked to respond immediately. Monster has extremely high physical defense. Be prepared with offensive arts. Okay. So it looks like the first thing we should do is the Saffron Tower because it's a medium, which is a really clever way for the creators of the game to kind of help um, walk your help you walk your path because by putting the terms, it kind of prioritizes them for the completionist in all of us. That's awesome. And that's where we're gonna be ending for today. Hey, we're back. We're in business. We got our companion and we're gonna go out and hit the streets, do some good old work. So next week we're gonna do some we're gonna do some talking to people. We're gonna do some missions. I wanna go fishing, I wanna visit the lighthouse, and I wanna go to Saffron Tower. That's pretty much like my my list of priorities. Saffron Tower and the uh, lighthouse are probably the top two, but I wanna make sure I swing by um, and see get the the ingredients like list quickly just so I can probably find everything along the way. Go say hi to the teacher. Probably go by the school, but I'm guessing I won't be able to go in quite yet. All of it. Ah, oh, Ruan's gonna be great. I'm actually really happy that we started with Ruan just because, uh, well, I, I'm excited to see Roland. Like, Ruan definitely was one of my favorite areas of the first game. And I think I even said in the finale, like, didn't I say Ruan was like my favorite area? So it's kind of fun that we're right back here for the first part. A little sad because it means we're getting it out of the way right away, but I mean, still, I, I can't help but be excited. So thank you so much for being here. Hope you're looking forward to it, especially because these first episodes are going to be a lot slower. I'm probably going to showcase a lot more of me talking to people, like especially this episode. I imagine I didn't cut a lot of those conversations because it was good mood setting. I think it's worthy putting in the video. Um, and, but as we go, I'll probably cut down on those just because, you know, we're going to get caught up on all the other adventures. Um, but Overall, I'm just really excited. So thank you so much for being here. I thank you so much for joining me for the beginning of chapter one. So let's see if we can track down a ghost next week. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for your support. And until next video watching me, we'll see you next. I'll see you there.